This is Richard with JR Propo, and this is the 12th in a series of videos regarding how to set up a new helicopter model in the JR T44 transmitter using the JR Tags Mini 3 axis flybarless gyro system. In the last video, we connected the tail rotor pushrod to the tail servo and checked the direction. We also checked the directions of gyro compensation for all three axes and made corrections as necessary. In this video, we're going to perform the limiter adjustment. Now, the limiter adjusts the limits of how far the tags mini will allow the swash plate to move in both cyclic directions. It also sets the endpoints for the tail rotor servo. It does this regardless of what the transmitter settings are. At this point, the main rotor blade should be installed on the helicopter. Note, for safety reasons, I'm still using a separate 4-cell nickel metal hydride battery to run the onboard electronics. The helicopter's motor is still disabled. We're going to begin by turning our transmitter on and pressing the L button on the left to enter the function menu. Now in the function menu, we're going to scroll to where it says pitch curve in the center of the screen. Highlight the words pitch curve and click the roller. Now once again, we're at the all servos hold screen, but in this case, we want to be able to manipulate the servos with the transmitter so we're going to select no by scrolling to no and highlighting it and clicking the roller. Once again, we have our 0, 50, 100 straight collective pitch curve. We're going to raise the throttle collective stick up until it says 50 in, 50 out on the right side of the screen. The next thing we're going to do is power up the electronics on the helicopter. And once again, we're not going to disturb the transmitter or the helicopter until the TAGS Mini has booted up. Now that it's booted up, we're going to press the S button and hold it for approximately two seconds until the LEDs circulate and the TAGS Mini enters the function list menu. Note that the gain lamp is lit on the TAGS Mini. Now previously we set the swash plate to be perfectly level and with our transmitter stick at 50 in, 50 out, the swash plate is exactly halfway through its vertical travel. At this point, we're going to measure the pitch on both blades in the same position or rotation on the helicopter. The object again here is to set the pitch in both main rotor blades to zero degrees at the same point in their rotation. We have a pitch gauge on one blade set to zero. We remove the pitch gauge rotate the head on the helicopter 180 degrees and reinstall the pitch gauge. Just like before, we will adjust this link to make sure that this blade also has zero pitch in this orientation on the helicopter. With the swash plate being perfectly flat, Technically, it should have zero pitch and all 360 degrees around the helicopter, but we definitely want to make sure that it's at zero pitch, measured at the same point, head on. The next thing we're going to do is set the limits for the elevator throw. We're going to do this by having the helicopter side on to us and with the main rotor blades positioned 90 degrees to the tail boom. Now our tags mini is still in the function menu. I'm going to press the F button to move the lamp from gain to limit. The first press takes us to norm, the second to cal, third to rev, and the fourth to limit. Now we press the S button and the elevator lamp will come on steady and the limit lamp will flash slowly. Press set button again and both lamps will flutter. Now again, we're using an old-fashioned pitch gauge to make this easier to see. You definitely want to use a modern digital pitch gauge when you do your setup. At this point, we're going to set the limiter for the elevator travel, for up elevator. So I'm going to pull the elevator stick back. And with the helicopter level and the top of the pitch gauge at level, we have 12 degrees. Returning to our TAGS Mini, we're going to press the S button to memorize the elevator setting. You can't see it off screen, but the swash plate slowly returned to a level position. We're now going to press the S button again. 
and we're ready to set the other elevator limit. With our pitch gauge now reversed, we're going to give down elevator until the top of the pitch gauge is level for our 12 degrees down elevator limit. Turning again to our TAGS Mini, we're going to press the S button again so that it will remember the down elevator limit. And once again, the swash plate off screen has slowly returned to a level position. We're going to press the C button now to move the lamp from elevator to aileron. Aileron lamp is now lit. Limit switch is now flashing slowly. I'm going to press the S button again, and both will flutter rapidly. We're now going to set the right aileron limit. We have our pitch gauge attached again and set up for 12 degrees. We're going to move the stick until the top of the gauge is level. Overshot it a little bit, go back a little bit. Back to our tags mini, we're going to press the S button so it remembers the limit for the aileron in that direction. We're going to press the S button again. Aileron and limit will flash again. We've now reversed our pitch gauge and we're going to set the limit for left aileron. So moving the transmitter stick to the left, I'm going to do that until the top of the gauge is level. Once again, I'm going to press the S button on the TAGS Mini so that we'll memorize the left aileron limit setting. I'm going to press the C button next. The lamp has now traveled to rudder. I'm going to press the S button again and the rudder lamp and the limit lamp will begin fluttering rapidly. We're now going to set the right rudder limit. I'm going to move the stick to the right and we're going to watch the pitch slider and also it's out of frame but I'm watching the angle of the blades. Now we still have a ways to go before the pitch slider will bind but we're already about 45 degrees. We don't want to go quite that high because we don't want the tail blades to stall. We're going to press the S button on the tag so that it memorizes the right rudder setting. Once again you can't see it because it's off screen but the tail rotor pitch slider has now returned to center. We're going to press the S button one more time. Once again, the rudder lamp and the limit lamp are fluttering. We're going to move our transmitter stick to the left to set the left rudder endpoint. We want it we want as much pitch as possible without it binding, but we don't want to exceed 45 degrees. That's pretty good right there. Back to our tags mini, we're going to press the S button so that it will remember the left rudder limit setting. Then we're going to press the F button and hold it for a second to return the tags mini to the function menu. I'm going to push the F button until the lamp goes back to gain. I'm going to move the cyclic stick to make sure that I have full deflection of the swash plate in all directions. And I'm going to move the rudder stick to make sure that it too moves fully in both directions. Note when I stop it, it's right at the endpoints we just set. At this point, we're going to power down our TAGS Mini. A couple of notes on limit setting. JR recommends a maximum of 12 degrees of cyclic for the limit setting. On some helicopters, the swash plate or the linkage will bind before you reach 12 degrees. In those cases, you want to set the limit to the point just before it binds. You don't want to bind and stall the servos. When setting the limits, make sure you set them in both directions, both up and down elevator, both left and right aileron, both left and right rudder. If, for example, you don't set the down elevator limit, you'll find there is no down elevator movement. And like we just did earlier, you want to check to make sure the swash plate moves in all directions and that the tail rotor servo moves in all directions. On setting the directions in the limiter, you can set up elevator first or down elevator first. You can set le left aileron first or right aileron first. Same with the rudder. It doesn't matter as long as you set both directions. In the next video, we're going to set the collective pitch travel using the swash mix menu and the T44. We're going to talk a little bit about the physical mounting, the tags mini, wire routings, and just a few final checks before test flying.